Hey guys, this is Dr. Shaw with the Upper Cervical Spine Center, and today we have my friend and patient Blake here. Um, he came into the office for a pretty specific reason. So, Blake, why don't you go ahead and tell us about that? Yeah, sure. Well, um, I was experiencing uh, terrible vertigo and drop attacks uh, for months, um, and that's that's why I came because I found out about upper cervical care and I tried other things that were not helping me at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that vertigo, that uh, those drop attacks, I know you had you know ringing in the ears and the loss of hearing and stuff. We call yeah. that Meniere's disease. Um, and unfortunately, conventional care doesn't really know what to do with Meniere's disease. But we see a lot of patients with Meniere's, someone like Blake. Um, so what did you try before upper cervical care? Yeah, I um, literally was at an ENT that was showing me a flow chart and I was telling all my symptoms and he followed the flow chart down to the conclusion that all these symptoms were Meniere's disease. And so going to the ENT, audiologist, um, just uh, even my primary care physician um, with the loss of hearing uh, and all these other symptoms, it was pointing to Meniere's disease. So they were telling me, hey, there's no cure. Um, you're just going to have to do these things to avoid all these problems you're having, which meant maybe a high blood pressure medicine, maybe avoiding salt in your diet, uh, maybe getting a hearing aid, mm. uh, all these things that would just reduce the symptoms, but there really wasn't any hope of a cure. Right, they, they couldn't really find the cause of this, of this Meniere's disease, right? Right, right. And so, and unfortunately, that's a lot of times what conventional healthcare does is they throw drugs, they throw surgery or whatever device at the symptoms without actually getting to the cause. Uh, Blake, how long did you suffer with this Meniere's disease before you found us? Yeah, I'd say that was probably, um, that was about nine months. Wow. Nine months. So nine months of not being able to hear very well, uh, ringing in the ears, drop attacks. Tell people what is a drop attack? Yeah, um, all of a sudden you would begin to sense that the room or whatever space you were in was spinning out of control and uh, I could not keep my balance and I literally would just go to the floor mm -hmm. and the best thing I could do was just to be perfectly still and sometimes it would last for an hour and sometimes it would last for, I had uh, an eight hour incident one time. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's just completely life altering when you're experiencing that stuff. So again, I'm so happy you found, you found us, you know, um, and since you found us, you know, you've been under care for a little while now, um, but how have the results been? Yeah, fantastic. Now the first month was intense because I was coming here three times a week and it was, it was like a battle to break out of it. And I saw improvement and then a setback and then improvement, but I'm so glad that you encouraged me to stick with it. That was the key, mm -hmm. I felt like, was sticking with it. Um, but since then, my hearing has been restored. Um, I have not had any of those symptoms after working through those first three or four weeks. Yeah, I've been doing this now for six months. Mm -hmm. And um, I have had no uh, problems with being able to work, being able to work out, being able to do all the things that I used to do in the last two or three months. I've been fantastic. That's amazing. We love hearing that, Blake. Yeah.